What's up, Fight Fight Fans? fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. I'm your host, Lexi. And it's Billy here. And it's time to take Take it it to to the the ring. ring. All right, right, Lexi. (laughs) Feels like deja vu. Check it out. We're twinning. It does does feel like deja vu. We are twinning. (laughs) If you guys want to twin with us, you can click the link down below, get our awesome merch, and twin with us. There's a bunch of new merch on there. There's like tote bags, mugs. um, There's even baby onesies. I mean, you could get them all. There's some Um, cool stuff. And the the Lucha stuff stuff is really neat, too. Guys, check it out. Yes, definitely check it out. And uh, you have a Don't Stop Believing shirt, right? Yeah, yeah, there's one, yes, yeah. Yes. Kind of a play so, of the journey um, song, you know, Kate, yes. keep it going. I love it, I love it. So we had a comment before we start anything. Yeah, uh, real early. Kevin, yes, he says, good morning. He was in before we even started. Yeah, I like it. He's Yes, I love how early he is. He said, good morning. Are you still safe from the coronavirus? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. We're safe. Um, we're good. You know, maybe that's just because we've been uh, in our own locations, not filming yeah. together as often, maybe. Um, but yeah, we're good. Yeah, like we're I good. said, and... <laughs> we're Florida. We, we don't have to worry yeah. about it. We're yeah, good. Florida's its own its own world. But we're good here. We are yeah. all health and healthy. And I think if anything, recently I think everyone's been super like stuffy because this change of weather. It's like in Florida, all my Florida Pollen's people. Pushing. Yeah, you know it's the pollen. Yearly. It's disgusting right now. And it went from being so cold to so hot. Like, I don't understand. But nah. I'll digress Florida's on bipolar. Florida. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and um, let's just get started with this NXT UK yeah. Wrestle Cap. So what did you think of this episode? Great episode. Loved it. Um, some great wrestling. They, they, they keep the backstage stuff to a minimum. So big fan. Yeah. But, you know, first fight card of the night, we got to see Emil versus uh, Zaya Brookside. And both are very strong wrestlers and about the same amount of uh, experience and skill. And Amel's really coming up. She's she's a good wrestler. So this is a good matchup. I have to say, Amel's very, like, fast. And her techniques are very, like, how would I say? I feel like her techniques are very, like, thought out. She came out super strong, super hot in the beginning. And, I mean, they both start off with this very tight lockup. And, um... You know, Brookside's just not wasting any time. She's showing the ma- a male all the fundamentals. But yeah. I think a male still holds her own considering, like, Brookside was very... They were both... They came in very hot. Like, oh, yeah. From the very beginning. Yeah. They really did. There's a lot of screaming in this one. Um, yeah, We got so to noisy. see some really nice, like, wrist lockups, some tie-ups. You know, Brookside is second-generation wrestler. Her father is a big deal. So yeah. I really don't get why she was throwing temper tantrums in the <laughs> ring like she was. She was like getting upset and like yelling at her. you. Don't get to do that to me. It's like she should know better than that. Get in there and go whoop some ass. You know, seriously. And was it last week? If I'm not mistaken, we saw Brookside com- and she was loud. It was another. Yeah. It was like the one that we were like, this match is so loud. I don't know she why th- she so really pricey. does. It's like a temper <laughs> tantrum. I think that's the best way I can describe it. She is such a yeah. pussy little wrestler, and. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it's because she she has that mentality of like, oh, you know, I'm a second generation. Yeah, she's just entitled. Entitled. Um, Absolutely. So, you know, it happens. But um, a male, she gets this nice leg lock to Brookside neck. I mean, you could see it right there. Um, So a male gave her a kick and a roll up. I mean, for all that yelling and screaming. Yeah. She she started showboating and doing like this little dance, you know, and and it's like. (laughs) Come on, you know, get get in there. But, you know, Brookside, she got a male on the ropes and, like, started hanging her out to dry and then kicked her in the back. She fell to all fours. And the Brookside started, like, stomping on top of her yes. like, a, like a little two-year-old <laughs> that didn't get candy in the grocery store. You know, like, <laughs> how dare you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. And that, like, really slowed a male down. I mean, yeah. I think without anyone down, you're getting kicked on hurting. like that. Yeah. But um, Brookside ends up getting this really nice modified abdominal stretch. Yeah. And then she starts to mock her. She's like, oh, the French hope. And she's like squeezing her cheeks. And it's just so, so petty. Like, yeah. it's just so freaking petty. It was usually not I'm like, good. yeah, go ahead. I usually I'm like, okay with like the little cattiness or, you know, the little bit of like sassiness, fierceness, but like, 
be fierce like Jade Cargill. You know, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, don't exactly. Yeah, there's a it's, it's different. a big difference between you know being petty and like poking fun and getting mad about silly stuff and then yeah. talking smack head. You know, totally exactly. different. She's playing the wrong kind of smack talk, and it's annoying. I just don't like it. You know, but you know, a male, she comes back. You can't take her lightly. And she gets like a fury of just like massive kicks, then a clothesline, and she does this great scent on just landing perfectly. And she she gets really crazy. And there's like I said, there's a lot of screaming in this match on both sides. A male is a yeah. very vocal wrestler as well. Yes. They're definitely vocal, but I would say vocal in different ways. You know, yes. a male's not yeah. so childlike with her. It's more, ah, you know, yeah, fury, it's, rage. Yeah, you know, I mean, anybody would, I mean, if you're getting hurt, period, it's not the fact that they're making noise. That's normal. It's yeah. the fact that it's like tenter, temper tantrum noises. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> we get a male. She hits a massive running thrust kick to Brookside in the corner and then follows up with this code breaker. It was pretty epic. Yeah, look at um, that shot. I mean, she put every bit into that kick. When she yeah. was done, she was practically sitting on Brookside's face. She she kicked through. You know, they say that's how you how you have to throw a punch or a kick. You punch yeah. through your opponent. That's what she did. She punched through her head. <laughs> she kick. really did. Really cool stuff, man. And then, you know, she ends up getting her for the three count right after that because that code breaker put her down. And she gets <laughs> another win. And I love how she gets these covers because she puts every bit of her weight in all of this power and holds her opponent down. She won last week with the same sort of cover. It's just, yes. it's a solid pin and very difficult to break out of. So she's showing us a lot of skill. That is, I mean, it was an epic match, I have to say. Um, I think it was more exciting to see because there was just so high pace. And I feel like you yeah. could kind of tell a male was getting pissed off that Brookside was, like, acting the way she was. So I felt like her moves were also with, like, like anger. Like, yeah. she had built up anger. And, I mean, she came in very smart with all the moves that she she did. So I give her credit. We have, oh, we yeah, have a comment smart. from Oh, nice. Said, Oh, Somebody let's, let's said, heel Brookside is annoying. Right <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, I don't like using like the, the term heel too often because I really think that's her personality. You know, some yeah. wrestlers kind of have this blown up eccentric personality that you could call heel, but deep down they're still an asshole. Um, yeah. This is just petty, entitled, childish, you know, personality stuff. I don't like it. Yeah. But well yeah. put, man. <laughs> yeah, well put. But um, yes, uh, backstage we see Dar the Supernova with his manager talking to NXT official, and um, the mm -hmm. Coffee Brothers are there, and Dar wants them to be suspended. Yeah, Yikes. over their shenanigans taking over the Supernova <laughs> show last week. And that was Wolfgang yes. in that picture. My my bad. Um, I wrote the notes wrong. But yeah, the oh, Coffee no Brothers worries. they're part of Galalis, you know, or Gallus. Dallas, I, I I don't know. I can't say it right. <laughs> anyway, the, um, so they're all pissed off and they're trying to instigate. But they had you know, that petty drama last yeah, week, right? Yeah, yeah. They took over the show and you know they were messing with the uh, the Irish Ace. Um, but instead of hearing about a suspension, you know, management kind of tells them, "Oh, we're actually going to give them a title shot instead." And Dar was pretty pissed with his manager, his bookie slash manager, yeah. and just like walked off. So I don't know. Let's see where this beef goes. You know, maybe we'll get to see a title match. Um, maybe. maybe not. Heritage Cup. Let's see. Yeah. I definitely didn't see that coming, though. Of all the things that would have came out of his mouth, I did not expect him to say yeah. they're going to get a title shot. Like, that just seemed very bizarre to me. But, um, you know, there is, oh, my goodness. There are comments that are off topic. But we all get to those at the end, guys. Um, because we don't want to, I feel like we'll get sidetracked. <laughs> so we will start with this next match. We have got, we got to see Raja versus um, Danny Jones. And this is the first time I've seen Danny Jones, actually, since I yeah. am still new to NXT UK. And well, I think I, it I still think was I've a great. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I've seen him either. Maybe once before, but I, he's not, you don't see is him. Is he new to NXT? Or... I don't think he's new. You just don't see him very often. Mm. Kind of looks like my buddy Chris Going. So I think I would. <laughs> would have remembered seeing him before but yeah you know but uh you know raja he had to to, to come in and like run to 
or where am I at? Yeah. So sorry, I'm in the wrong place in the notes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, right. So after the, like this big 10 minute entrance that Day Familia yeah. <laughs> always does, it's so over the top. It's and so it's so slow. Top. It's slow. <laughs> and it's it's a bunch of over actors. You know, um, the the two, they they square up and Raja's the first one to come out and he just does like this mean like pimp hand slap. I mean, he like slapped the Jesus out of this poor guy. It was just, and it was kind of dirty, you know, but that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he was definitely just like testing Danny out and like testing the waters. But, um, you know, Danny's 6'5", not yeah. a small guy. Um, and he hit a really nice kick to Raj's gut and turned him basically inside out. Like it looked, if he ate anything before that, mm -mm, that would have all came out. Because, it yeah. was pretty bad. He had to get out of the <laughs> ring and run over to Dave Familia yeah. just to get a breath. And I don't think he was ready. I, like he, he ate that gut, man, or ate that kick to the gut. He's yeah. probably full. That was a bad one. <laughs> It was. And then um, Raja gets a breath, you know, she takes, he takes a breather, comes back, and he's got some mean Indian clubs, and he's got one hell of an Irish whip, throwing Danny to the other corner. I mean, it was hard. He was mad. This this throw came with a lot of anger. Um, yeah. He did not play games. I'm like, when I saw him take his breath, and I was like, okay, it really did affect him. Maybe he's going to slow down. But that breath, it was like a power nap almost to him. He yeah. came back with like a vengeance. I don't know what they told him outside of the ring. <laughs> it's like, we're going to kill your wife or something. You better get yeah. in there and win. Because he came back with the fury, man. He, <laughs> he did. was not playing around. So, and like, Danny hit that corner, man. He was shook. Like, he was rattled. But, you know, he popped yeah. right back up. And then the two just start trading punches. And, I mean, like, back and forth, just like old school boxing it's like i'll take one all right who's tougher and then danny gets yeah. this really nice suplex right after it putting the pressure on raja but you know he he only gets a two two count on it he can't keep it in yeah and um oh we've got a funny comment so they, they agree that the deaf Amelia's um entrance is a little uh over the top <laughs> yeah it's it's <laughs> i wouldn't even say it's undertake yeah undertaker's way better um at least it's like, I mean, it is like, that's a 10 minute intro too. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some Undertaker matches where his entrance lasts longer than his actual match. No way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's it's just, it's not even a good long, but. Yeah. And it's like, the show's only an hour long. So you're taking a 10th of the show <laughs> is literally just the him coming out. But yeah. Whatever. And then just um, overacting. Just <laughs> yeah. If anything, I'd expect that kind of entrance from um, Brookside because she's so like extra, and I feel like she'd come out with like a, she's a little bit of a cheer elegant, one. like out of the ordinary, like crazy entrance. If oh, anything. that's Dawn. We'll talk about her <laughs> later. <laughs> yes, but um, going back to this, we've got Raja. She he gets a nice backstabber and then a cutter, and that really put Danny away. And um. Raja got the win for De Familia. So Yeah, that was a hard hit, man. Danny's legs just went flying up in the air. And, and Raja was really targeting his back through the whole match. I mean, there was a couple, like, running kicks, um, a sliding knee he took one time. So he was really targeting that back. And, uh, you know, after this match, it still wasn't enough. The beating continues. They jump in there and start jumping him. And, you know, Dempsey was a little standoffish at first. And Timon he kind of stared at him. I was like, you better get in on this. And he finally did. And, you know, Timon kind of looked a bit twisted. Like he had this smile on his face. Like he's, it's, it's, it's almost like a cult like following that he has with the two of them. Absolutely. Um, it was, it's a bit of a weird dynamic, I have to say. <laughs> but after that match, we end up seeing a really cool tribute to yeah. Miko Satomura, who is the current NXT Women's Champion. She's given some beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. And, um, but this beautiful, like, moment ends up turning into uh, darkness. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, she was this. looking good. Sakamura, I like the, <laughs> she, she real dressed up real nice. This is a cool moment. She earns yeah. it. She and does. it's just like, what's going on? Lights are off. It kind of reminds yeah. me of House of Black. It's like, was Malachi Black going to show up? This is the wrong <laughs> industry. What's going on? Um, yeah. And then Dawn just appears outside of the ring. And she's looking creepy as ever. 
And yes. this this whole kind of promo was pretty creepy. You know, the way they changed the frame, it kind of had like this weird kind of trippy uh, camera shots. I don't know. It yeah. was a very weird promo. It was and, weird. With the lights, and I'm like, I feel like I'm going to have a, a migraine after it was, seeing it this. Was, yeah, right. It was different. It, it, it was very me, It made me dizzy. I, I was so dizzy. I felt like I was all out of whack after that. But um, maybe they did that for a reason. <laughs> it's her. It's her deep, like demon it's powers, her little you know? it's yeah, going through powers. the screen. <laughs> but uh, Dawn announces she's like, "I'm coming for that title." And yeah. Mako's like, "Hey, you want a title shot? Just ask for it, girl." And uh, Dawn's like, "No, I don't ask for it. I just take it." I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, "She got all right. sassy and, and then sassy. took a big step back and cooked." <laughs> or kick the shit out of Sokka more, yeah. man. She hit her hard. I tried to get a, a still shot, but it was it was just too blurry. She caught yeah. her right here. So, like, right on the button and right on the neck. And she's already had some previous neck injuries. So, she just – she goes down, man. And, yeah. you know, she – like, Dawn picks up the flowers. She kind of smells them, and she, uh, she walks away with them. So, she kind of has done this thing in the past where she has to steal something personal from – whomever she's going to be going up against uh the yeah. opponent and she puts in like her little evil demon box and this kind of gives her Ooh. powers or whatever so yeah i think she stole like, the flowers for that it's like the bad juju kind of thing you know like when you it get is. i've i've heard or maybe it's just in movies and i'm just insane but like if you get like a voodoo doll like you have to get something from the person oh yeah, like, yeah. The, uh, so, like, uh, what do they call that? The Santa Maria and voodoo nonsense? Yeah, yeah. yeah like a lock I, of hair or a piece you of have clothing. To, like, exactly. Get something from them. So I'm wondering if it's like that same kind of concept. But like, anyways, Miko Satomura, she's a badass. I don't, I have, yeah. I have a lot of faith in her. And um, yeah, that juju only works if you believe in it. You know, that's that's where the power comes from, is that subconscious kind of subliminal trickery. It's like, oh, this happened and it happened because of that. And it accumulates and manifestation kicks in and you create your own reality based on your negative thoughts. So Honestly. that's that's what creates that. But Mind I mean, after matter. that, it, yeah, precisely. Mind yeah, think positive. Yeah. And then we get a real quick little promo. Um, so like last week, Nathan Frazier, he said that he's coming for the title. He's going after Dragonoff. So Dragonoff comes out, he accepts, and uh, we get to see them next week. And that's going to be a good one. And he, you know, Dragonoff, he kind of threw in there too. You know, I had to survive a 20 man battle royale to get this shot. I'm only giving you this shot because you act ass nice. You know, the yeah. Irish ace was talking ass about his kid and his family and just super disrespectful. I, I agree. I'm kind of excited to see that next week. <laughs> Yeah. Um, because I think it'll be really intense, especially since That's they have that good. nice they've got that nice tension built up between the two of them. I think it'll be great. And um uh, yeah. we have a comment. They said, Good morning from rainy, slippery New York City. Um, <laughs> hello, you're like basically from my hometown almost. Um, I hear it's snowing over there, so good luck with that. Ooh, um, it's so like 80 over here. Sorry, yeah, buddy. It's sunny. I'm like <laughs> uh you can't tell, but I was like, I'm want to go to the beach today so maybe i'll take my laptop nice. to the beach the water might be a little cool but yeah i usually like it's funny because the beaches here they don't get as cold as they do up north like up north it's like the polar plunge all year round oh, um yeah. no like 60 70 is cold for me i i won't get in the water if it's 60 oh no that, that's good out there that's in florida good. with a wetsuit yeah. surfing <laughs> nope <laughs> it's not me <laughs> no and um Alrighty, so oh, and she said, um, I learned Cesaro likes my two favorite things, cats and coffee. That's funny. Cesaro. <laughs> Fun fact. We'll we'll get into the off topic comments uh, a little bit later because yes. that's big news. So we do have to kind of touch on that a little bit. Yes, we're gonna talk about that. And um, all right, let's just get right into this main event. Um yeah. so we've got the tag team championship match. It is the mustache mountain versus Oliver Carter and Ashton Smith. Yeah, this, this was this also was a good one. This was really good. <laughs> Did you like this one? This this one had some cool stuff in it. Yeah, I love this one. And then I thought it was funny because there was an interview with um, Mustache Mountain and they were like saying like the top two people that they'd want to go up against. Mm -hmm. And they were like, um, if we had a little bit of extra time, just like, you know, to for fun, they would go up against um, MSK. And like, yeah, you know, I was like, that's funny. So um, they're, I think they're kind of <laughs> posturing 
trying to get into NXT <laughs> yeah. UK, uh, which they'll be good. I mean, it was it was still good. But, you know, Smith and Bates, they face off first. And this is a very fast-paced match, man. These guys are going really quick. And this is actually the first time they've they fought together, um, Smith yeah. and Bates. So they've that's a big deal. You know, if you've never wrestled somebody before, you don't really know their style. And it doesn't matter how much how many tapes you watch. You know, it's you have to get in there. Yeah, but I have to say, both of them, they had some great technical oh, sorry guys. They had some great technical work. Um, it was really fun to watch this. I mean, Trent tags in and so does Carter. Now Trent is like looking like He's he's not in the best shape. Yeah. Um, he's, not, he's really yeah. He's not in his fighting body. He's, he's not in his fighting body, he but was, hey, he was that a doesn't, sloppy. doesn't doesn't really mean anything. But I have to say, yes, it was it was a little sloppy on his end. Yeah. Um, I uh, haven't seen him like prior, so um, I know he is getting a little bit older. So yeah. that, that might have something to do with it. But you know Maybe. that doesn't stop him from giving out some mean chops, no. man, and some shoulder tackles to the pair. I mean, he was fighting off both of them. Like, look, he was rearing back. That was that mean <laughs> chop. And he just, he like got both of them with one swipe. <laughs> it's great. And then, uh, you know, Bates and Smith, they they come back in and they start trading uppercuts just like one after another, just eating yeah. them for dinner. And it's like, who's tougher? I mean, both these guys had an iron jaw. It was impressive. It was great. The only thing we were missing was the the loud grunting and screaming. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> and um, Bates catches that. Carter in the air, hits Smith with Carter's legs, and then sends him spinning around the ring, just tossing him pretty much everywhere, nearly out of the ring. Yeah. Okay, he's just thrown everywhere. I don't know who got more dizzy in that move, you know, Bates or Carter. And yeah. then it was pretty cool seeing him kick the, the other opponent, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know, Bates is in there. He's pretty much winning this match himself. I mean, yeah. I don't know where Trent is. You know, he's off <laughs> taking a nap or eating a donut yeah. or something. Snoozeville, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, Trent is Trent does come back in, but yeah. he gets hit with this tornado DDT from Carter that he just – there's no way you're getting out of that. And yeah. uh, we do see some great tag team work from Smith and Carter at this point. So, you know, they're really working it. Um, I have yeah. to say, but yeah, Trent really we, did go, he got hit with that DDT. And I feel like after that, it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shot was uh, the moonsault a little bit later, but the tornado DDTs, they're so fast and yeah. you can't get a picture of it. No. You know, we got to do the little video clip and WWE is so strict with that. But, you know, we saw multiple covers in this match on both teams. And they did a great job. I mean, the tag team partners, all four of them, kind of getting in there and breaking up the pins and breaking up the covers. Um, yeah. They kept this match going for a while. It was good they stuff. Really good. And, um, yeah, we see Carter and Smith. It seems like I got that picture wrong. Yeah, this yeah, is this a is that, salt. yeah. Yes. This Look is the this. moon yeah. salt debates. And, um, yeah, that is what won their last match. But um, Bate kicks out, and he's like, uh-uh. This is not how you're going to win this one. <laughs> yeah, that's that was an amazing kick out. I was shocked, you know, and then they too. do like this, this great double team cutter right after that. And yeah. yeah, there it is. So he just he jumps Carter from the rope, grabs Bates in the cutter, and then they all three of them just go down. Devastating. <laughs> and I thought it was all over. I was like, this is this is it, man. And Trent came out of nowhere and saved the day and broke that cover up. He really did. Um, I think at this point, all four men are just exhausted, drained. They didn't have a moment where it went down in the pace. It continued. And it, I feel like that happens. And when I watch NXT, I really feel like, I, well, NXT UK, there is not a slow point in the matches ever. Like, yeah. I feel like there's, at least with the other promotions, I do realize there's a little bit of, like, a slow down sometimes. But they go in hard. And um, I well, really... That is more traditional wrestling. You know, yeah. uh, collegiate or Olympic wrestling is fast-paced. You have to exactly. be explosive. That's what it's yeah, about. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you could see here, all of them are like, ugh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Bates and Smith are in the ring at this point. They are trading elbows. It was an incredible show with like, we saw so much strength. We saw a lot of 
I mean, there, a lot of them, they could have gave up at a yeah. lot of points and they didn't. And I think that's really important um, mm -hmm. that they just kept the pace going. And it was a great match. My, yeah, one I mean, of my these, favorites. These guys the are fighters. They just yeah. have that heart, man. Nobody was giving up. You know, Bates was, he was able to hang in there until like, you know, outlasting most of, oh, gosh, I mean, I don't know how to say this. I mean, he was, he was over there and he gets the cover and I was just shocked. I mean, they were beating the crap out of each other. And he was yeah. able to just kind of take a little bit more than Smith. And and he beat him. And I was shocked. I really thought Smith and Carter had it. And I'm a big Mustache Mountain fan. I really am. I think Bates is fantastic. He's an awesome, awesome wrestler. Um, and this really showed. He just out-toughed them. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, are we surprised? Mustache Mountain retains their title. I've got to say, Trent was missing in most of the match. Um, a lot of the times, like we said, we're like, is he sleeping? Where, where did he go? <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, I think he missed a lot of the parts that were kind of crucial. And um, like, I think him, if he would have been a little bit more involved in this match, it could have made a, a bit of a different impact yeah. on how like the match ended. But I still think it was really fun to watch. I mean, look at them. They were yeah. so excited. Um, and they really did deserve it. I can't say that this was unfair. They really did deserve this match. Yeah. And, um, you know, Trent, he just... was in there when they needed it most. So he wasn't yeah. in there a lot, but there's like, he saved, you know, Bates butt on that cover. Yeah. So that's true. It's, uh, we'll see how much longer Mustache Mountain, you know, reign continues. Um, like I said, Smith and Carter, man, you guys did great. Um, you lost yeah. this one, but you got a lot of respect in my book. So I'm a fan. Good job, guys. Yes. Overall, both of them did really great. Um, just keeping up the pace, like I said, it, it takes a lot and and yeah. somebody. Yeah. And no, you let's could tell get into some exhausted. of those comments. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's yeah. get these comments. So, we have a bunch. Let's oh see. my goodness, we are missing so much. I am sorry, you guys. Um, okay, someone said hello, brother and sister. I'm a new viewer. <laughs> we are not brother and sister. But, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> we are not. Um, you can't see the resemblance. Yeah, oh, I have a I lot mean, of comments. You know, Billy does have the same hair as me. So now that I think about it, I, I could see where he thinks that. I can see. You know, believe but, it or um... not, I get a real nice tan when I'm out in the sun. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he even gets tanner than me, believe it or not. So um, let's see. What do we say? What did we say here? Oh, they said Billy and Lexi. Did you know that Cesaro was leaving? Yes, me and Lady J covered all of that in our morning jab. Um, yeah, it was a, for the fight for news, right? And yeah, yes. Just, yep. And um, yeah, definitely check that out because we go into detail about kind of why he did it. And um, yeah, there's a well that interview with Vince McMahon. It. I can't believe he would call Cicero uh, or Cesaro boring. It's like, yeah, dude, that's your fault, man. Write better exactly. fights for him. That's yeah. I I got offended for that because I'm a big fan. He's an excellent wrestler, and I really I think WWE <laughs> dropped the ball for like everything. They just never really gave him a chance, and that's sad. Yeah, and um, we had another comment. This one said, "Take it to the ring, uh, cats and coffee." This is kick ass and coffee. Uh, um, the question. They said, I hope you'll do a review on some independent shows like Warrior Wrestling or Impact. Oh, well, yeah. We, yeah, we do. We, impact. we do Impact. It's just not as frequent because I don't think Impact's a weekly thing, is it? No, um, that's GCW that's um, pay per view. Or like oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Impact is a little bit more. It's just right now we're really trying to find, you know, uh, find our group more of people things. to cover it. You know, it's just everybody yeah. loves the AEW and WWE stuff. And we're focusing yeah. more on the MMA with um, the All Real Crew and, uh, yeah. you know, All Real Crew. Um, they have some great stuff. So they handle all of that, the boxing events and MMA and, and then uh, Tijan does GCW. So there's a lot of stuff out there. Don't worry, Fight fans. We're going to get there. Yeah. We're going to end up covering it all. It's just, we're going to uh, cover it. Getting there. Yeah. We're trying to get our... <laughs> Our take it to the ring family. We're trying to grow our family. And yeah. um yeah, it's it's harder than you think. It's much harder than you think. Um, so they asked another question. They said, Between us, does the host talk about Japanese wrestling? Like actually, we yeah. do. Um, Lady J, that is her specialty. The one yeah. that I do kick ass and coffee with. 
Lady J is a diehard New Japan pro wrestling fan. She loves um, the hard loves style it. wrestling. And yeah. she's out of all of us, she's the only one that can actually pronounce these names correctly. So <laughs> she does them perfectly. Perfectly. I, I feel so bad. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. And you know, Japanese wrestling is all about honor, it's all about respect. And these guys earn it and deserve it. So I feel so bad when I butcher their yes. names, but I, I love watching it. It's very entertaining. It's just it's, and I can't, um <laughs> I couldn't yeah. reviews. But she does all of that. Check it out. We have plenty she of that does. down there. Check out There's... our wrestle caps, guys. There's an entire playlist dedicated to New Japan for yeah. wrestling. So if you look at our playlist, you will see it's all Lady J giving you all the scoop. And um, actually, in our every morning for Kick Ass and Coffee, we have a segment at the very end called Keeping It Strong Style. Yeah. That'll be any of the news that's in New Japan for wrestling. Um, but if you're looking for like a, a review or a recap, that would be in their New Japan playlist. So definitely something to look at. Yeah. And um and it seems like every we, other day there's some new announcements with different competitions and the mystery absolutely. men and they do a good job with that. And um Miku and Asuka had one of the best rivalries in Japan. I wish they could get one match here too. Yeah, she's not over in NXT yet. I wouldn't be surprised if Mako ends up moving on uh over here to uh, to NXT 2.0. I just realized it's Asuka, right? I pronounced their name wrong. No, you were, you I were apologize. close. You were close. See, this <laughs> is what you don't do in New Japan. <laughs> I'm so bad with names. I apologize. Um, <laughs> but, okay, let's see here. Daniel Price commented. Oh, he's just letting us know that Impact is not an indie. Um, it's an established promotion. Mm -hmm. I, yep. So, I guess it's just, just... It's not as, um, I guess, like, popular, you know. Um, through Well, I guess a lot of the WWE fans don't really kind of think of that because it's very different a lot of wrestling fans think that wwe is what professional wrestling is and that's it and yeah no, and there is way bigger stuff out there i mean yeah i, I agree there there's so much that i didn't even realize like when i first got into the wrestling world i only knew of wwe i didn't even know there was such thing as AEW. i didn't even know impact was a thing i just was so out of the realm and it's mainly because like I grew up in like where the the WWE headquarters are, so I was like, "Oh, that's the only thing that's a wrestling. That's all I'd ever hear around me." But yeah. um, I think it's so great how many independent wrestling promotions there are. It's crazy. I didn't even realize until I was looking at um, MJF. He's been a part of like ten independent wrestling promotions, and I was like, "Wait, yeah. there's even there's more than 10? Like, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm, so I'm the same. Until Tommy Mac introduced me, I had no idea. It was, it was definitely some good stuff. Yes. And um, yes, I see that uh, Bushin, I can't, I can't pronounce their name. I'm sorry. Um, they were, somebody had commented asking if, how they can watch like Impact, I guess. And um, we answered you back in the comments here. Um, we do have Russell Caps, but you can actually watch on Fight TV. That's where we watch a lot of our stuff. Or Peacock, a lot of the streaming platforms yeah. all have their own different, like, it's it's a kind of a pain in the butt, I have to admit, because they're all at different places. <laughs> it is, places. and that's why we do what we do. <laughs> that's yes. here, take it to the ring. We'll watch it. We'll make sure we keep you up to date, because it is. There's a lot out there to try to watch, and uh, yes. if you're a diehard wrestling fan, it's too much, unless that's your full-time job, man. <laughs> it's, there's a lot. Yeah, it's it's a lot to watch and some of them are very long so um let's see we've got some more comments here oh my oh, goodness yeah Which... matt williams you see what he said nxt uk best show in wwe oh i would argue yes i concur man true. i'm a huge uk fan um since the first time i watched it i didn't watch it until i started doing take it to the ring didn't even know it was around and man yeah. it's it's the style of wrestling i like it reminds me of kind of what i sort of grew up watching um but also how i like wrestled in high school so yeah. it's 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 still that real kind of pure old school style um with a little bit more modern take on it because these guys are good and and because it's nxt they're going out there and they're going out there hard to try to prove something they sure are and uh, we got another comment from keith he said Walter should be considered the Brock Lesnar of NXT UK because the way he keeps dominating his opponents inside the ring is scary and dangerous. Oh, no. So, uh, you know, Walt, <laughs> Walter is no longer in NXT UK. Yeah. He's been bumped up to NXT. 
with uh, the rest of Imperium, and he is going by his true uh, legal Christian name, Gunther. And a lot of people are still kind of razzing him about that. I was just at the show last week, and and they were kind of, or was it the week before? They were they were hitting him pretty hard, and I thought it was pretty disrespectful. I mean, it's this guy's name. He's German. Say it right. <laughs> 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 and Keith also said, I was talking about it the other day, but did you guys see Robert Roode invading NXT? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. It was cool. <laughs> I was I went nuts. I was <laughs> it was bittersweet. I was like, oh, okay, so that's it's pretty cool seeing him. Um, <laughs> but come on, Ziggler, what are you doing? Just fight yeah. Champa, keep it clean. You know, why Why do you got to get your guy over here? But then again, I guess it was some payback because Ciampa did, like, throw vodka in his face. So he got a camera. Really? That's camera a bit of a comeback. We had a older comment that we totally missed from the beginning. And they said, off topic, but Billy, are y'all going to 2.0 show next week? So I haven't decided if we're going to go next week or not. Um, I'm going to try to. It just kind of disp- uh, depends on how this little other side business I do goes. I might be kind of busy, so... Yeah, yes. it's up in the air. I did uh, send the request, so we'll just kind of go from there. We'll see. I mean, are any of you guys going to be at um, NXT next week? I mean, we'd love to meet you guys. Like, if yeah, you see we us. can get a whole take it yeah. to the ring section. You know, we'll um, we'll lock down a whole stadium. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to, if you guys are there and you see us, don't be scared to come and say hi. Oh yeah, love you're to gonna see me to in sport and you know, take it to the ring yeah. swag always. Always. And um, we've got another comment saying, bro, the crazy part in um, Asuka told Monero to stiff shot her Kashi. <laughs> wanted Koshi, Suzuki's yeah. in. Oh, yes. Because she wanted Suzuki's run dominant. Asuka booked that match. Ooh, when was that? Um, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Lady J. Yeah, too. that's uh, yeah. a little bit more up her alley. I'm just now starting to get into the uh, New Japan, so a lot of the history stuff I don't I don't know yet. I haven't gotten caught up. <laughs> and uh, oh, here we go. We've got uh, another comment saying we'll check out those. She's gonna check out those past episodes and uh, Triple A. We do do Triple yeah. A. That, yeah, that's, that's also, also Lady J. J. Yeah, <laughs> that's also I've Lady done a, uh, some of the pay per view. I think that was a few months ago. It was the WrestleMania of AAA, which is in Mexico. It's like the Super Bowl. I mean, it was a massive event and it was a ton of fun. FTR was there, too. Um, So that was that was a great event. I mean, they had the president there of Mexico. Like it was it was a cool event. Check that one out. That was a cool one. That was awesome. And um, there's the panties versus pants match. (laughs) Uh, Tony Storm did some good intergender matches. I think she wrestled this guy called Timothy Thatcher. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got to watch She's that. another NXT. Yeah. She's Storm's. Uh, I like Storm a lot. I think WWE released her, though. What, about a couple months ago? Mm-hmm. I think that was I th- it. Yes. Fight yes. News. I think so. I was yes, a fan. I liked her. Oh, bummer. Yeah. But um, yeah, to answer your question, it seems as though Lady J is going to NXT next week. So you guys oh. will see Lady J there. If you guys want to, and um, love the comments, guys. Yeah, I love them. loving the comments. I'm like trying to go through them. Um, so Daniel said so, several years ago in Japan before she came to WWE, she was still using her real name, Kana. Oh, oh, interesting. Look at that I like it. I Learning didn't know. new, new stuff every day. And we've got a new subscriber. Hello. Oh, well, awesome, man. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Fight Fans family. Yes. So Here. we got a ton of stuff. You got a lot of catch up, man. We got a yeah. lot of stuff for you to kind of follow and, and uh, get on the same page, man. Yes. Um, there's a lot to catch up on. You can see our playlist. We've got them all organized. Um, we're still you get them all done? To... Not all of them. There's so yeah, many tags. There's oh a lot. Goodness. But um, <laughs> we got all... well, there's, there's like a little just. Dis- there's a little description. It'll tell you a little bit about every playlist. So you can mm-hmm. look at every playlist and just kind of check it out. And um, yeah, you could see ev- there's a whole playlist of everything we've done of 2021 since we kind of started it towards the end of it. And um, yeah, it was broken down into WWE, AEW, New Japan. So definitely check those out. If you are a new subscriber, you've got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. And, um, and check out our Storm. sweet merch. Yeah, of course. Come match with us. Um, Tony Storm has not wrestled like Asuka. 
Um, I had crazy massive mass matches too. Oscar mm-hmm. fought Minoru Suzuki. Io Shirai once beat a Pentagon. Oh, whoa! Oh, I believe wow. that. Uh, Shirai, yeah, I like her. I'm a big fan. That is one tough chick, man. It's- <laughs> And it's, it's really sad. I mean, Davenport was a good wrestler and was putting up a good fight, but she, she just got hurt in that match. So yeah, yeah. I don't think that oh. she's going to be letting go of that title anytime soon. So I remember how earlier – <laughs> I don't think so either. I think um, – so earlier we were saying that somebody had commented that me and Billy were siblings. And uh, somebody commented <laughs> they said, Billy's his name, question mark, about the tan. They have a spray paint <laughs> spray for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so yeah. bad for you man i'll spend 10 minutes out and i'll be fine yeah it, it is it's very sunny out so i think you'll be good and um My oh we have a fun native fact american dna yeah it, it's in there it's in there um we've got a fun fact oscar owns a hair salon oh uh, <laughs> nice i'm due for a haircut <laughs> oh my god my hair has grown out so much but um I still don't do my hair anywhere in Florida. I go all the way to Connecticut to do my hair. So, <laughs> oh my God, that's an expensive haircut. Well, my mom, my mom gets free flights, so I don't worry about flying there. I just have to like pay for my hair. But like, I had a really bad hair experience. This is so off topic, guys. But I had a really bad hair experience, <laughs> and they butchered my hair, and I had to pay a lot of money to get it fixed. And so, I only go to this one girl because I have trauma. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. PTSD from the hair salon. PTSD from the hair salon. I don't know if there's any Orlando people who have hair recommendations. Let me know. Yeah, but, um... Kayla goes to one right there in Winter Garden. I'll have her send you over. Oh, yeah, she's good. Yes, she's been going to her please. fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh, she said, um, "Let Oscar cut my hair with a sharp weapon." No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, might be the best at it, man. That'd be pretty cool. You imagine, like a like a samurai sword haircut. Yeah. <laughs> and um, oh, we've got another comment, from Keith James Storm. I was supposed to mention should rekindle the rivalry with Robert Root from the time Beer Money Inc. split up. Yeah. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, me and Tijon were kind of speculating on what's going to happen with this beef with Ziggler Root. Tomasa Ciampa and, and Braun mm-hmm. Breaker and all that is is that going to open up doors for Ciampa? Is Ziggler just going to get the title over at NXT for more accolades? Yeah. Um, we don't know. I got to say that WWE has been stepping up the kind of backstory and beef and and really kind of letting these these wrestlers handle some stuff. And we're on the road to WrestleMania, so who knows yeah. what's going to happen? This is a great time in wrestling, so yes, stay tuned, guys. I mean, some cool stuff. Yeah, and like I always say, expect the unexpected when it comes to wrestling. There's always some yeah. crazy stuff. I would have never guessed Cesaro was going to leave. That, yeah, that so crazy. somebody commented that. This is real news, guys. Yeah, it's this real. This is not fake news. It's confirmed. This is confirmed. And uh, yeah, you could definitely check out just this at last episode that we did of Kick Ass and Coffee from this morning. We go over that in our morning jab. So yeah. definitely check, check that, that out. out. It's yes, definitely uh, um, some crazy news. And it's, I mean, it's bittersweet. Um, I'm a huge fan, but good for him. He deserves it. And and screw WWE for doing him dirty. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, I feel. And we got another <laughs> comment. The comments today are just pouring in. I love, I love it, it, guys. I, I love, love it. it. Um, Io Shirai, Kyrie, Nico. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. And Asuka were at the same time in Japan. The time of women wrestling goes crazy. They actually fought each other. Hmm. That's, yeah. That's that's just the style over there. It's, yeah. it's real. She's she's tough, man. And I think a lot of those really good fighters end up going to WWE productions um, really because it is a little bit, I guess, uh, easier. You know, it's not as they're not wrestling for an hour, hour and a half. Yes. You know, most of these matches are closer to like 10, 15 minutes um, and they have a little bit more downtime. And I'm sure the pay is a lot better, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh somebody else said james storm wrestled only one match on nxt and then dipped yep yeah that sounds about right and well uh, i mean last Daniel... year nxt sucked nxt 2.0 year or 2.0 um last year i i didn't get into it until like i think november december mm-hmm. somewhere around there so new year's great nxt 2.0 yeah. got, i'm pumped yes and uh daniel price he said 
Ziegler's got the pull backstage and wants to help Champa get over. So if he can stay liked by Vince and not injured, Champa will be fine. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. But you know, Champa, this is something like Tijon and I were kind of specul- uh, speculating on. He's been in NXT 2.0 for seven years now. Um, he most likely has a home here in Florida. He lives here. That's true. He gets to drive to work. He's off the bus, and and he's he runs NXT. I mean, he was the champion for a, a long time, and he's really good. He's still getting a payday. I'm sure the payday is going to be more if he does get bumped up to Raw or SmackDown. Um, but Absolutely. then he's going to be on the road, and he's got a wife. He's got a family. So I don't know. Will it just be a couple promos? Because when he was on WWE, it was yeah. in North Carolina. So it's not like he had to go cross country. That's true. So I'm going to hmm. consider we are going to see. Oh my goodness! Somebody is upset about Cesaro leaving. They said WWE. <laughs> beep. <laughs> They're like, that's, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Let let some other program do something with them. I mean, look what AEW did with CM Punk, or I mean, uh, Brian Danielson and uh, John Moxley. I mean, their their feud right now is way better than anything WWE could have done. And what they did with CM Punk. I brought it up by mistake, but I stand by that too. So let's see what happens. I think at a certain point, there are some wrestlers that are too good for WWE. And yes. they don't let them grow. And you have to stay in Vince McMahon's little mold. Um, or he'll just shun you. So. Yeah. And uh, we've got another comment saying, I think Cesaro shouldn't sign a contract with any company for a while. Let him work different shows and he can help so many unknowns. I think as a free agent, he might actually do really well. Yeah. But yeah. I think if he's trying to look for like a way to make more money, I think it would definitely be signing a contract, bro. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and don't be surprised if Tony Khan scoops him up. I mean, he's been holding oh. talent for a while. He's like, uh, bring them all in. <laughs> hiding them. <laughs> you know, yeah. and a Brian Danielson and uh, Cesaro match would be great. I'd love yes. to see that. That'd be good. That would be. And, um, oh, we got a nice, how are you guys doing? We're doing great on this Friday Yeah, morning. this is a great episode. Yes. Love a great it. Episode. A lot of love for NXT UK, guys. This yes. this is awesome. I've been trying and... to tell people for a while now. Get out there. Watch it. It's it's a great program. And, um, oh, what else did we get? WrestleMania show is rated R. Superstar versus the Phenomenal. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Superstar versus... See, I don't know if it's going to be um, Edge versus Phenomenal. I'm hoping it's I mean... going to be Austin Theory. Because that little promo that Edge did in the ring, he blatantly said, anybody that fights me, I make them look good. And yeah. anybody that's going to fight me in this WrestleMania you're going to go down in history. So that was almost like a call out to people that are trying to move up. And Austin Theory Absolutely. is that guy, man. He's got a ton of talent. Yeah, I agree. I have to say, I think, I like we were talking about it in the news this morning that his promo, the Edge's promo was super like vague because it's like subject to change and everything mm-hmm. can change. And like, so I don't really know. Like there's a lot that we... We could see a whole different, like, uh, there's a lineup right now, but we could see a totally different one next week or the week after, or even the yeah. day before WrestleMania. It's the road. It's, it's just change. how it is. It could be the and day before something could happen. I think this it was is... for Elimination Chamber or Royal Rumble. One of those, it was, like, literally right before the day of, right oh, before yeah. the wrestlers went on. They that was uh, Royal Rumble they did that. Yeah. I think with the ladies. Uh, yes. The ladies, yes. yeah. We had no idea. It's like half the roster was empty. It's like, how are they going to have, you know, 20, 30 women in there if they don't even have that many? <laughs> well, I remember and, that. Uh, <laughs> Daniel's funny. Um, he said uh, in dog years, he's grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, God. Another comment from Daniel. He says, Punk was hoping WWE would take him back. And that's why he did the appearance on backstage. They wouldn't throw ridiculous amounts of money at him. And that's why he didn't give Khan an answer for so long. I, I mean, th- I think there's some validity to that. You know, Punk, um, as much as AEW fans have just kind of flocked to him as this, this great guy, he did. He left a lot of wrestling fans um, out on the limb. He went over to MMA, got his ass whooped, and then came crawling yeah. back. And uh, fans just kind of, I think he waited long enough to, to get fans to forget. 
but I'm not going to take away what he's been doing for, for wrestling in AEW. Um, him, Tony Khan, Brian Danielson, they've all done a, a lot for professional wrestling. Um, but yeah, he chases money. Isn't it all about money? I mean, he is yeah. a backyard wrestler as a teenager. Now he's rich. Who cares? That's a great yeah. story. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> so a little bit of a backstab, but <laughs> whatever. He's, he's a professional. It's movie stars do the same thing to us, you know. Yeah, music. It's true. Artists. That's very they, true. they all do that. They don't they care. Do they care about themselves. They don't care about. Them. We are. Oh my goodness, we're getting support from Bangladesh. How nice! Wow, very cool. That is. How's awesome. the weather over there? Yeah, how is the weather? I'm wondering. Um, oh, they have an important. Somebody has an important question for everybody in the stream who wants to talk with Elias. Um, not really sure what who that lies. is that if i could get a little bit more of a <laughs> little more insight on that question i could help you out there um okay another comment i love the edge and there's no <laughs> real reason christian can't make a surprise wwe cameo right yeah it's true yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, it definitely brings in some draw uh it might come down to more of a money thing you know <laughs> um, yeah Oh, someone asked, who is Lady? Sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead. No, you're good. I was just reading, um, was a uh, Hyman Shuru Guru? Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a, it's a Thai might uh, shed a tear of joy if Theory faces Edge. In Mania. <laughs> That's great. Hey, I'm a big Theory fan too. Don't don't just throw uh, Tijan under the bus. It's, it's me yeah. too. We're <laughs> yes. both fans. We both catch shit for it, but I don't care. He's not um, coming. <laughs> Somebody asked, "Who is Lady J? How how are you? New? You must be new here. You must yeah, be new. Gotta here. be new. Uh, just um, scroll down. Check out those WrestleCat videos. Um, yeah. There's Fight Kitties, which is fantastic. That every day keeps you up to date on all the news. And then she also does AAA yeah. and uh, New Japan reviews. Yes, and she's awesome. She is. She yeah. is just a wrestling nerd, way more than me and Lexi. The she, both she of us knows, combined. Yeah, yes. it's impressive." <laughs> it's impressive it's kind of impressive so yeah you can catch me and lady j every single monday through friday 9 a.m we are live streaming and we answer comments just like we do here oh, yeah. but i Guys, think the morning crowd the morning crowd's a little bit groggy there we don't get as much comments because everyone's like like getting in the groove of waking up everyone's like eh. <laughs> well, i love what uh lady j says she's like uh we notice in the morning it's more of the guy viewers the tom cats for the fight the kitties. Tom i thought i was like that is great i love that the tom cats for the fight kitties it's, that's we gotta true. get a t-shirt the tom cats fight tom kitties cats. News. yes <laughs> that is funny and um let's see oh elias has been gone from wwe main roster longer than lexi's been a wrestling fan yes that is why i was so confused <laughs> sorry guys i'm like who here what um <laughs> Somebody else said, um, hello, the Hello Kitty New Japan shirt kind of uh, cemented. She's a wrestle nerd. Oh, oh yeah. yes, she is a wrestle what, nerd. <laughs> way more than you can even guess. <laughs> yes. And she's got the little, oh, my God, what's the cat's name? Oh, I'm not um, sure. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know the cat you're talking about. I just can't think of the name. She always has. Um, okay, we're not banning anyone, guys. Stop it in the comments. We're not banning anybody. <laughs> Everyone's okay. behaving. Yeah, be nice, guys. Yeah, no one's no one's getting banned, guys. We're just having fun. Um, no worries, no worries, guys. So, yes. Oh, somebody else said NXT chats are always lit, <laughs> whether it's NXT 2.0 or UK. It's just a party here, you guys. It is a party here. No, the um, NXT 2.0 crowd <laughs> is nuts. And really? it looks huge on TV, but it's a, it's a very small, intimate, like, arena. They just have the stadium seating. So you get just a, a good amount of people, and you get to see everything. So it's not like, you know, some of the indie stuff when you go there, and it's all flat on the floor, and people are standing, yeah. you really can't see anything. Um, you're in it, and it's great. And they do a great job pumping you up. And if you're loud, they'll take you backstage, and you get to take – pardon me – uh, pictures with like the trophies meet some of the talent um that was cool like i got called i got some trophies with the uh the dusty cup trophy or uh, some pictures of the the trophy 
with uh sir you edward sure and i and then we got to meet some of the wrestlers and stuff too so go there get rowdy it's fun somebody remember the cat's name is daryl thank you guys daryl daryl fight Daniel, fans coming you. in for the win you love guys it really came in for the win oh keith that's so sweet said you guys are doing an amazing job with streams they're simply glorious <laughs> thank you nice. thank you and uh somebody said do you think Roman Reigns is going to walk out of WrestleMania as double champ. Mm. Mm. I don't know. That's a that's a good question. Like um, I said, it could go either way with WrestleMania. You know, I'm not sure what's going on with with uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, there was rumors that he was doing a movie and he was going to be stepping away and he was going to let go of the title. You got Brock Lesnar making a big push, but he's still in there. Um, and yes. I think if anything, he might turn face. I think we're going to see more of an asshole Roman Reigns. Yeah. Then the oh, nice we got, guy. We've got, oh my God, there's just like an import of comments. I love it. Yeah. Um, we got Lexi, have you been to a live wrestling show? I had my first wrestling show experience two weeks ago. Yeah. I went to NXT 2.0 Vengeance Day, and it was like, we were also seeing their logo of um, Level Up coming up that day. So it was kind of cool. And um, we dressed up as Wendy Chu, me and Lady J. So if you go on our Instagram, you can see that we dressed up like her. We had so much fun. And um, yeah. the one and only Wendy Chu reposted us on her Instagram. It was pretty epic. So. Yeah, you got to see the uh, Dusty Rhodes winner, the, the Creed Brothers. That was, a, yes. that was a good show to go to. That was the Vengeance Day one, I believe, right? Or yeah, we saw last? the Creed Brothers. <clears throat> we saw Mandy Rose. Yep. Um, we saw Braun Breaker, right? Yeah. You know, it's funny, after you uh, you two dress up like Wendy Chu, when I was there last week, uh, one row in front of me, there was another woman dressed up in the same outfit that had the same little thing. So she's, Lady you're, J! You're, you're, get, you're getting it going. Getting it going. We're trendsetters! The, the Chu crew. We are trendsetters. I love it. Um, we have another comment from same person saying, Lexi, Billy too. What was the last live show you saw? I just answered. That was my yeah. first and my first previous one that i went to how about you billy yeah the last uh the last live one was uh last tuesday <laughs> oh you went to the one last tuesday yeah that wasn't yeah, was just there last, though, right? uh, yeah or this uh yeah this past week yeah awesome. i went to that one yeah because we have the luxury of living here in orlando where we are so close to um full sale where they have the performance so yeah yeah the buses and, suck um, but the bus situation does suck. And I know that that person that asked us said they were from New York. Mm -hmm. And um, I did see that over in Connecticut, they have um, they had an AEW show. So definitely look out to see if they have any more coming up because that's not too far from you. Yeah, um, and pay attention to us. You know, we have giveaways too. So pay attention, subscribers. Yeah, All of our cool contests. Attention. We have lots of stuff. We've got a lot. And um, ooh, I've uh, got another comment. Uh, both you... Where are you? where are we from? Oh yeah, um, we're based here in Florida, Orlando, yes. Florida. Very Orlando, sunny Florida. and beautiful. Sunny and beautiful Florida. Yes. Um, I'm originally a CT girl from Connecticut, born and raised. But um, no. Yeah, I I Florida like, boy all the way really? through. Yeah, been really? Florida boy to the bone. Been here my whole wow. life. I love it. And you're a Yankees fan. That is. That's, <laughs> That's some good stuff. Yeah, you know? that was my dad. Yep, <laughs> I love sure. it. He's from I love New York. <laughs> and um, let's see. Oh, um, TV Reigns is supposedly taking a few months off after Mania. So it's a 50 50 oh. at this point. If yeah. Reign wins, he is facing Drew after that. Hmm. That's a I'm good a observation. I'm a Drew McIntyre fan. I really am. I got his, his action figure right back there. I love Drew. Oh, McIntyre. really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's awesome. Love him. Yes um let's see um do 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 all right do you know it is almost 550 days that roman reigns has been our universal champ yeah. what yeah really that's that's when he started uh saying that god mode stuff which i'm not really into oh, oh. but i mean he's feeling himself that's that's one hell of a run it's impressive Dean said, take it to the ring. Can I ask you a question? Go at Good, it. Dean. Comments are free. That's, that, that's why we're here, man. Shoot it. Yes. Um, Billy was going crazy in that Tony D'Angelo Pete Dunn match. <laughs> that was a crazy match. I mean, <laughs> they, they, they had weapons zip tied to the cage. Like, there were so crowbars cool. and, and 
cricket mallets and zip ties and yeah dunn smashed um tony giangelo's or d'angelo's fingers in the little pool box man I, I was right there i saw that he got every bit of those fingers i was i'm a big tony d'angelo fan i am i was like give him the nice. salami <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh, this is nice. They say they said I'd love to buy Billy a pitcher of cold beer if he'll pay for the barbecue wing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a deal, man. Sounds I know we like have a, a chicken wing shortage. <laughs> there's a shortage. Of, there's supposed to be like an avocado shortage too. I'm yeah, so upset we'll see, about that's that. That's just uh, trade negotiations <laughs> with Mexico. We'll figure it out. Yeah, just go and... go grow an avocado tree. It's <sighs> like ten years. Um, Dean said, Lexi, I got really confused. I am sorry. Um, all right. What are you confused about? Yes. Let somebody was clarify. giving him crap. I guess. Yeah. He, maybe they I guess got somebody was, already. Yeah. Somebody hey guys, might have given cool. you crap, but yeah. Let's keep it cool. We're, we're all fight fans here. We can all get a little mm -hmm. rowdy. That's, that's fun. Yeah. No worries. And, um, oh, we got another comment. Do you guys live near the former Impact Zone air arena in Universal Studios? Um, um yeah. Yeah. Where that's was, uh that's that? the one that Tom and Jackie were talking about. Oh, okay, got it, got it. The okay. the original NXT, and then there was yes. also they were in uh, what the armories in like Lakeland and some of the other places that are a little bit more um, not as progressive. <laughs> with mm. uh, <laughs> I guess it's a very PC way to say it. A uh, very different <laughs> crowd over there. Uh, a lot, a lot, a uh, little more country. Put it like that. <laughs> And um, oop, let's see. Oh, somebody saying goodbye, you guys. Time for dinner here in India. Well, enjoy your dinner. Thank you yeah, for tuning in with us. Uh, awesome. Oh, that's funny. Daniel Price said that is not good. People need guacamole. I am people. <laughs> I need guacamole. I am yeah. like a big avocado toast girl. It's like my I eat an avocado at, at every day. I mean, I had I some turkey sausage with an avocado and mushroom this morning for breakfast. Like it's, I love avocado. <laughs> I know it's it's so good, and so I'm gonna have to learn how to grow it. I know you can, but it takes a really long time. Yeah, um, it's it's like uh, ten years for it to fruit. Really? Yeah, you can graph them, which is faster, like citrus. But if you grow from a seed for it to mature uh -huh. and actually put out fruit, it takes like ten years. Same thing with citrus; it's the same thing. If you wow. grow from a seed, you're not gonna get fruit for ten years. It has to mature. I did not know that. Yeah, so you're better right. off just going to a nursery. And buying one that's you know four or five foot put in the ground yeah i agree so what else did they say oh they said lexi who's your favorite wwe diva oh. Ooh. have you watched a lot of wwe yet like the smackdown and raw you saw the pay-per-view semi semi yeah. um and specifically <sighs> diva like there's some wrestlers diva. that aren't divas i want to call Liv liked, Morgan a diva i liked Paige. yeah I like Paige. One. I think Charlotte um, Flair, ultimate diva. Oh, like the diva. Why am I forgetting about her? I freaking love her. Her entrances, the her outfits. Um, she's, she's a queen. Just, she holds she herself literally. like a queen. She, she's she like is a real, diva. She's the real life version of Elsa. Like literally, <laughs> the real life version of Elsa. <laughs> All right, I, um, I can see that. And let's see, impact film in the impact zone at universal and people visiting the parks would come in and occupy the whole crowd while the show was going on. That's really cool. Yeah. Six sided That's ring. Really cool. That is cool. <laughs> that is awesome. And, um, Oh, we've got an embarrassing fact. A 15 year at 15 years old. I collected action figures and made a wrestling group and invented the universal title. UWF, I called it, and that yeah, was that's not embarrassing, man. Yeah, that's not embarrassing. <laughs> I'm sure if I thought about it, there's probably some stuff like that I did too. Yeah, yeah. I probably had a stormtrooper in my wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> Could have had a million dollar idea right there, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. I had Hulk beaten um, up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Hulk. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody else said, to be honest, I'm a fan of Tony D'Angelo, but what I like about him is his gimmick. It's almost like he's an Italian mom. Yeah. Oh, you know, his, his, <laughs> yes. his uncle Paulie showing him how to, you know, get stuff done. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell he's from up there. 
Um, <laughs> and somebody else said they got lucky and got tickets to the Raw House show. That's so cool. Ringside. Oh, nice. Trish and Lita both retired. That is awesome. That's that is experience. cool. That's a special treat. Yeah. Hold um, that one close. That's cool. I got to see uh, the first AEW show I went to. I got to see the Big Show wrestle, and it was a really? handicap match. He wrestled three guys at once. Wow! And he beat them. He destroyed them. It was fantastic. <laughs> I loved it. That is so cool. And um, all right, somebody else said, um, "Anyone think of Tony D'Angelo looks like former WWE superstar Nun- Nunzio of the Full Blooded Italians?" I don't know who that is. Well. I don't want to be racist, but most Italians do have a look. I mean, they're, they're stocky, yes. fat fingers, dark hair, especially if no, they all they come from yeah. New York, you know. I oh, he does that. kind of look like him. Okay, yeah, he does. I just looked up a picture of him. You're right. You're right, Keith. All right, is this our last question? Oh, my goodness. I think this wow. is. Get authoritative, Billy. Smack your fist on the desk and go, we need more million-dollar ideas. <laughs> It's demand it. Demand it. Yes. So, oh my goodness, you know what I just realized? We got straight into the comments and we didn't even give this fight card a rating. We haven't. Okay, so we, we got haven't. a lot of people following. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. So here at Take You to the Ring, we like to give each fight card a fight card rating. So we have five for Fight Forever. Yes, we, got we have four, four. which is this is awesome. And then three. So you still got it. Two is what? And then worst of all, one boring. Don't even bother watching that episode. Watch us. We're going to be way more entertaining. And uh, what would you give this episode, Lexi? Um, I definitely have to say I would give this a... Um, like a three. Yeah. Three. That's, that's fine. I'm going to yeah. give it a, a solid uh, four just because I am a little bit partial to you yeah um and we got to see a, gr- a really cool promo with uh sakamura and dawn that was pretty neat it was a little dizzy um but it was still cool and the the tag team match with uh smith and carter with mustache mountain was great i mean that that was a that was a really good match and uh smith and carter really showed us they're they're up and coming they got a lot of skill i think we're going to see a yeah. lot from them in the future I think I would have given it a four had we not had the temper tantrum from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair. That kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, think everything I, I else is that. good. Yeah. And um, <laughs> let's see. We got uh, we got a few comments while we were talking, actually. Yeah. Dean, Somebody Dean said, asked, yeah. Billy, do you think John Cena will get lucky to go to WrestleMania again? Mm. No. I don't know. He's he's not in it um i don't know it's there's there's a lot of wrestlers that have been out of wwe that have gotten better in better shape and look better john cena has gone hollywood man i think he's just yeah. making money doing other stuff i don't think he's real interested in wrestling um last time i saw him it's not the john cena that we remember as far as his physique and like yeah. his size um compared to like somebody like the rock I think that might be a little bit more realistic. Either he's going to buy a, a wrestling company um, or invest or start his own thing or start moving in. And look at him. He's done nothing but get better over the years. I mean, could yeah. you imagine The Rock coming back now compared to what we, oh my we grew up with You yeah. know, back in, in 90s and 2000? I mean, he's, he's nearly double the size. I'm, he's, he's right there with Brock Lesnar. That would be an amazing match. So... I would love to see that. I just got goosebumps thinking about it. <laughs> that, that, I would love to see The Rock come back. And I'd rather see him before John Cena. And, uh, you know, don't roast me, guys. I am a John Cena fan. I have a CD. <laughs> his rap album. Um, He's like, don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't roast me. You know, <laughs> I do like him. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, you know, lose some respect for the rest <laughs> of you fight fans <laughs> that I have his album. <laughs> Um, somebody else said it's official. NXT got three Oscar hair snips out of five. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's funny. We, sh- uh, we should adopt that <laughs> for uh, the new Japan. Keep it a strong style. It's like Oscar yes. haircuts. That'd be funny. That's cool. And um, 
Oh, we had two people who also rated with us. I love when you oh, guys rate with us. So nice. five star performance, exciting matches, promos. Man. Keith, I I love you, Keith, but you always give a five. Fives, man. I you feel throw like those fives should yeah. be hard to give out. <laughs> You throw those fives out like a dollar bill or a dollar bill at the strip club, man. You're just like making it rain. <laughs> fives for everyone. Everyone gets a five. Like Oprah over here. You, you get, get a five. five. You get a five. Get a five. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, somebody gave it a three point nine. I think yeah. three point nine counts. I think I, I, I think that's fair, man. Uh, like I said, I lean a little bit more towards the four just because I'm partial. I am a bit biased for UK. Um. But at the same time, I mean, out of the last few UK episodes that we've been reviewing together, this has yeah. been one of the better ones. This one was really exciting and fun. And um, I liked last week's because I think it was, I think I laughed, I laughed my ass off last week. It was just really funny. Yeah, um, uh, the must-see one is the Dragon Off and Iris Ace um, championship match. That was about four weeks yes. ago. I brought it up a few times. Fight fans, check that one out. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, Keith, I know you are. We're just messing with you. You're one of my favorite fans. Aw, I know. We're just kidding. <laughs> We're just kidding. We love you. We love you. Um, they asked me what days I stream on YouTube. I am here every single day except Sunday. So yep. you can catch me from Monday to Saturday. Um, Monday through Friday, I'm doing Kick-Ass and Coffee with Lady J at 9 a.m. And then uh, Thursdays, uh, Fridays and Saturdays, I do Dynamite with Billy. And then we do NXT UK like today. And then Saturday mornings, we do Rampage together. So yeah. the only day you won't catch me is a Sunday. I'll be at the I farmer's market busy. on Sundays. I take you to the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm busy. We're um, a busy crew. We are a busy crew. And um, what else do we've got? Yes, Keith, we, I know you're trying to stay positive. We love that you're positive. Um, another question. Kevin Owens say, said at Raw that he wants a match at Mania. And st he still doesn't have an opponent. Stone Cold will be at Mania. Owens versus Austin. Stunner versus Stunner. Hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm hoping for. That's that's the one I want to see. I know Owens is still trying to posture to to get into WrestleMania with Seth Rollins, um, but that's that's the one I want to see. I want to see KO and Steve Austin. Man, that's that's gonna yeah. be a great one. I think that That'll would be, be awesome. great. Um, I think he's kind of prepping us for it with all this Texas smack talk that he's doing, and we all know. Steve Austin, any Texan's not going to put up with that. So I think KO is going to have to tread lightly if he ever goes to Texas again. <laughs> he's, he, better, he better ease up with that Texas smack talk. Yes. Oh, Billy, you got a question. Um, uh, what is your John favorite Cena John Cena rivalry? Oh, hmm. gosh, man. It's been so long. I'll have to get back to you. I'll respond in comments, man. I'm going to have to yeah. go through because that there was a lot, man. There's um, And he, he kind of changed persona a couple times, too. You know, mm. he turned face. So yeah. I'll get. I I got you, man. I'm I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna give you a good answer. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll come back for that one. But um, all right. For our last question, we have um, let's see. Let's put this one up. Owens versus Austin at WrestleMania. They'll mouth off five minutes. One stunner back to the Hummer for Steve. Sounds <laughs> sounds about that. I'm right. gonna give him more credit than that. I'm gonna give both <laughs> of them more credit than that. You know, KO yeah. is a competitor. He's a strong guy. Uh, but Steve Austin, he looks like he's still in great shape, man. I, yeah. He's he's a little bit older. If anything, he's got that old man strength now. So yeah, it's, and... it's going to be a good one. I hope I hope they do that one. I really want to see that match. And, you know, now that he's got a ring in his house, um, I think that he's got so much. I would imagine he's got a bunch of practice. So, yeah. Um, Oh, Dean said, I love you guys. We love you, too. Uh, Thank you guys for tuning in. We have, we so have the best fight today. fans. You guys are awesome. uh, we really do especially today's crowd was so much fun um all right and our last question we have yeah. i have not seen this nxt uk show but most european wrestling is at least a four rating and would be would be like matches out of zona 23. Hmm. yeah i mean that's yeah. that's why i love it over there i mean the wrestlers that are coming from uk we even see it in in mainstream wwe and in aew they yeah. are really good. It's it's not like it's not the American style, you know, where, you know, I, at least I would say like probably my generation, your generation, yeah. you know, KFED was, was gone. So WWE really didn't do a very good job kind of making us believe 
unfortunately, um, yeah. there for a while. And I think that created almost a generation of crappy wrestlers because they didn't, they're not tough. They think you're there, you're going in there and you're just, you know, you're doing one of these and that's, yeah. that's not what it is. Go in there and give it to them, you know, and, and take it out. So it's, I, I think that's a big part of it. And that's why we're seeing a lot of good wrestlers because it's still old school over there. They still respect the sport and they go hard yes. and they are legitimate tough guys. Absolutely. And um, somebody agree, Keith agrees with you that he likes rapper Cena. So you're not yeah. the only one. You're not alone. Um, and Dean, I think he ended it with a perfect comment. He says, time for him to go have a good day. You too. And to everybody yeah. who's watching, thank you guys so much. We had a lot of fun today. This was um, a great episode. You guys are awesome. It was awesome. a great episode. And keep this going. I mean, this this yes. is fantastic. We we love talking wrestling and, and uh, fighting. So yes, it's great. So, uh, you got anything yeah. else to add, Lexi? Uh, nope. Other than if you guys want, again, our awesome merch down in the description below. And, um, you can also, you know, there's playlists, like I said, catch yeah. up with all our old, because it seems like we got a lot of new subscribers today. So you can catch up with all our old content. And yeah, if you like what you see here today, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. And like we said a couple times in this video, guys, there's plenty of WrestleCat videos. Just click that link right down there. And until next yes. time. It's Billy here. And I'm Lexi. Bye, guys. Don't stop believing. <laughs>